welcome to S Fuels TV. And this is my third blog post for um, the S Fuels TV channel. And so far, I've covered off um, pre race nutrition. And last time, I talked a little bit about um, nutrition during racing. And I talked about how basically you take kind of taking this train low, race high strategy where we're training low and we're racing high, and we're actually taking in quite a substantial amount of carbohydrate. But um, today I just wanted to share with you some of my some things around what actually happens when we do really carb up during those races and um, and just to be aware that it really isn't without its consequences so I can just show you some of my data the, um, some of my morning resting um, blood glucose which is the fasted blood glucose data which I take every morning just more out of interest from a health perspective and you can see here that Really, at the start of the race, before racing, when I'm on a kind of that low carb approach and I'm not taking in any carbohydrate in my day to day routine, I'm quite stable. I'm normally waking up and I'm in, I'm in the fours, and that's really where you want 4.4 4 to 5 millimoles um, per liter of blood, and that's really where you want your scores to be. And that's, and if you look at some of the research, that's really been shown that if you're waking up in the morning and your blood glucose is below five, you you know it's actually quite quite a lot of um, a healthy approach, and you're you're a healthy way of life. Um, if you look after racing, you can see that my blood glucose is just elevated, and it's not substantially crazily elevated. But for me, it was substantially elevated, and it was in the high fives towards uh, mid to high fives for quite a long time. And in fact, it took me almost a week to um, to get my blood glucose back to where it was before. So I guess the take-home point from this from, for me is that you imagine then if if you're not taking the low carb approach to your training and you're just your training with the fuels that you want to race with and you're permanently putting back pure, poor fuels, high high sugary carbohydrates, then you're likely to be um, to be going around with chronic chronic high blood sugar and therefore chronic inflammation. And that can really affect some of your recovery and some of the um, recovery and just general all, all around health and well-being just because you're chronically infl in, in, inf inflammated. And that's not to say, obviously, there was some inflammation that was caused by the race as well, but, um, but I think a combo of both um, would have definitely made it even worse. So when we're actually training, we, we are under some kind, of some kind of inflammation, but the trick is that with a low-carb approach, we can actually really um, counter counteract that and keep it low and keep it nice and healthy. Um, that's it from me. Until next time, I hope you keep enjoying these blog posts and little snippets. Um, if you're really interested and you want to keep on listening, then make sure you stay tuned and tune in to the S Chills channel. Thank you.